cumulative, I've spent a little over two years of my life submerged on a nuclear submarine, sleeping within 50 or 100 yards of a nuclear reactor. It was a mission critical mindset. I treat the planet the same. Keeping the mission critical mindset, we need to limit how much CO2 we're putting into the air and working from a water positive perspective in everything that we do. Brandon interview, take one of many. I've been a builder for my whole life, fascinated by energy since I was a kid. And now I lead energy and water procurement for Amazon Web Services. There's definitely a growing demand for energy with the cloud. The cloud is the digital backbone of our society. It allows us to do everything from order groceries, run financial calculations, watch Netflix, and use AI. And the cloud requires quite a bit of power. How are we going to power the cloud and make sure that we're returning more water to the communities than we actually use in our operations while driving carbon out of everything that we do? Having lived on board in a nuclear submarine, it was an interesting and eye-opening experience to how nuclear power is a very clean, baseload, safe, carbon-free source of energy. So we've invested over a billion dollars into projects and technology to enable new nuclear. We see this as a way forward to bring power to our data centers so that we can all utilize the cloud. We see the need to continue adding tools into the toolbox. We will continue investing into wind and solar projects. It will take everything that we can throw at it to continue to decarbonize while we grow the electric grid. I'm always thinking about what's next. At the same time, all that I think about is taking my son outside, pointing out something that he's never seen before. You can see the enlightenment right now that the planet is at a point where we need to start taking actions to protect that so that's around for generations to come.